From humble beginnings in 2010, the annual ride for MRP Foundation has evolved to become one of South Africa's most challenging rides, covering 606 kilometres in just two days. While the ride has seen several changes over the past decade, the daunting task of cycling for one purpose has remained the same. The 10th edition saw the biggest peloton to date tackling the ride to raise funds for MRP Foundation. The Youth Development Organisation unlocks potential in young South Africans through the Foundation's high-impact education and skills development programmes. Since 2010, over 5 million rand has been raised by the cyclists and ride partners to break the cycle of poverty and inequality in South Africa. Race director Kelvin Dussart has been instrumental in staging a safe and successful ride each and every year. The ride starts long before the pedalling begins, with activations being staged across the country to initiate fundraising efforts. This year's event paid tribute to fallen hero Paul Else, who tragically lost his life in a cycling accident shortly after the 2018 edition. On the eve of the ride, Paul's stepson, Wim Hollander, presented Umbrenani Nkobo with a brand new giant bicycle that Paul won in 2018 for his fundraising efforts. Wim also joined the peloton, riding in Paul's honour. On December the 1st, the peloton tackled 346 kilometres on stage one from Secunda in Mapumalanga to Ladysmith in KwaZulu-Natal, braving 14 hours in the saddle. The merciless weather conditions did little to deter the cycling spirits with riders battling through the heat with temperatures exceeding 35 degrees. The peloton sped down the winding Majuba Pass before passing Newcastle and earning a much needed rest in Ladysmith at the end of stage one. Second time rider Sisendilia Omkiz won the 25,000 Rand Absa Rider of the Day Award for her display of resilience and perseverance on stage one, with the funds being added to her fundraising tally. South African triathlete Umshlang Gwela, supported by City Logistics, made international headlines in early 2018 when he was brutally attacked whilst training. The third time rider made a miraculous recovery after being advised by doctors that he might not participate in sports for at least two years. The SA rugby legends also returned to the ride with purpose, with former Springboks Joel Stransky. Jeremy Thompson, Wayne Fivey and Warren Brosnian all tackling the challenge. The 260 km second stage from the Royal Hotel in Ladysmith to Durban once again tested the cyclist's endurance and mental strength. The peloton descended through Escort and Moy River before arriving at the infamous Warthog Hill, a punishing a 3.76 km climb with a 244 m elevation. The talented Unati Ukmalo, 
A 17-year-old Hammersdale rider and part of the KZN cycling development team was awarded this year's King of the Hill for reaching the summit first. Stage two passed through the picturesque Midlands Meander, the Midmar Dam, and also took in historical landmarks such as the Nelson Mandela capture site and the Peter Maritzburg Town Hall. As the peloton approached the Valley of a Thousand Hills, they were warmly welcomed by friends and family on Durban Tourism's iconic rickshaw bus. Durban's Metro Police ensured that the peloton was safely escorted to the finish line during peak hour traffic. Leon Krauss and Keegan Matthews, cycling in the yellow and blue jerseys respectively, led the peloton into the city. The cyclists were richly rewarded for their efforts and received well-deserved medals at the finish line. Made friends over a couple of days. If it wasn't for the lights, he's pushing us. I wouldn't have made it. I was happy to, to be around them. They were pushing hard. They were pushing me. Yeah, we were always together. Yeah, they're very strong. I was so happy. I was can't wait to get here. Feeling well. Yeah, it was my first time to do this stuff, but I'm really happy. We flew down here, and we felt very special. But with all the the, the police around us blocking off the highway, so yeah, very cool. What keeps you going is the fact that you're doing it for a great cause. The fact that you got a great bunch of mates around you and, uh, and, and you know there's a few cockroaches in that bunch eh? they can suffer through it and I like to think that, that we all suffer, we all inspire each other to, uh, to get through those dark moments. The public can still support the riders in their efforts to raise funds for MRP Foundation by simply visiting www.mrpfoundation.org. Stay tuned to find out more about entry details for the 2020 edition. We hope to see you there.